Hey guys, and welcome to a video where we're gonna be repairing carbon fiber. Uh, this is actually a video that's been requested from a lot of people that watch my Instagram stories and they've seen me use a very unconventional way of fixing carbon fiber with a hammer and a vise. Basically, in the video today, we're gonna be talking about repairing generic carbon fiber delamination. So when the carbon fiber delaminates, that means that the sheets of carbon fiber, they're all stacked together and squished to make a carbon fiber arm or a bottom plate or top plate. They're basically coming apart. And what happens when that happens is basically the arm becomes brittle, fragile. Each one of those layers is very almost cracker-like. They just snap off and it's not very strong anymore. But when they're all joined together, they're very strong. So we're gonna be rejoining those delaminated layers back together to ultimately give our drone a longer lifespan. Uh, for example, this drone in particular has survived uh, for about 14 months now with the same exact carbon fiber. Now I have done some repairs here and there, um, and I'll talk about later in the video what I might replace if I were going to replace something because carbon fiber, through all the vibrations that these quadcopters are you know, shooting through the center of this carbon fiber you got props on here that are bent that might be you know causing vibrations that are going through the carbon fiber and it's actually going to be delaminating the arm from within and, and i'll talk about when you should probably change arms or what to look for when you're talking about an actual broken part that you can't fix within reason um, and you should probably just get a new one so for example like i said this quad has been flying for about 14 months with the exact same carbon fiber on it and i have done some repairs and we're gonna just look at it as it sits right now and I'll show you some of the damage. All right, so now that you've seen some of the gnarly damage that we're gonna fix these quads with a few ingredients. Now what you'll need is basically some thin CA or any kind of super glue will work. I use this Loctite 401, which seems to work really well for me. Uh, and then the other thing we're gonna need is some kind of filler. Uh, you can use baking soda, but in my case, I'm gonna be using a graphite powder, and this is just a fine graphite powder. Uh, baking soda can be milky, it can turn white, it can do all kinds of weird things depending on the glue that you use. With graphite, actually, it gives you a decent filler and also comes out the same color as the carbon fiber, so it looks really good when you're all said and done. And the other things that you'll need to do these repairs are a couple different files. You could probably get away with one file, but I'm gonna use a big one and a small one, um, and then a hammer, in my case, and uh, a vise. Let me show you what it can look like when we're all said and done so you can get a gist of what we went from all the way to what we're going to achieve. <laughs> so now that you've seen the finished product, let's go ahead and dive into how we did that. All I've done is basically taken off anything around the plates that I want to work on. So for instance, I wanna fix this arm. It's got some delamination going on here. I wanna fix this top plate or the bottom plate right here. I want to try to fix this arm, which is very highly, extremely delaminated. And then I want to try to fix this arm back here. You can leave it all in the quad, no need to pull it off. So let's go ahead and try to do this bottom plate first. Now this thing's pretty jacked, um, but you know, we're going to try our best to fix it or at least get it to where it'll be, it'll last for a little bit longer. So what I'm going to try to do first is I'm going to try to get some of the debris that's in here out. Uh, this, this thing's got some tree stuck in it. There's some carbon just like flopping around. So I'll try to get as much of that out as I can. Once I think I've done that, how I usually do this is I just pour some super glue on it and then I squeeze some graphite on it. And you know, you can get like a stick and some paper and mix it up like epoxy and put it on but I feel like that only does so good because at the end of the day, if, if it's thicker, it's not gonna seep into the cracks. So that's why you want this thin CA. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze some CA into this top plate right here and try to get it into all the cracks, all right? So I'm just gonna start squeezing CA all up in here like so. We can hollow out the holes later if we need to. You're just trying to get all up inside all of the cracks and you want to put a pretty good amount on there all right now i'm going to take my graphite and this is you know there's probably a much bunch of people that are gonna be like you can do it so better you're like whatever well you know this is how i do it so i'm going to squeeze some graphite and i know this is pretty wasteful just squeezing some graphite in there and then i'm going to take some more ca 
and I'm going to be applying another coat. Okay, so after I've applied another coat onto here, we're gonna put it into the vise. And why we're gonna put it in the vise is so that we can squeeze all these layers together and hopefully get them back into their original state. We wanted to get as much bite as possible. And then we wanna tighten it as tight as we can get it. And this is where the hammer comes into play, all right? So it's about as tight as I can pretty much get it. And I'm, we're looking a lot better now. There's no more splitting going on. Now that we've glued everything back together, we're gonna take our big file and I'm just gonna start filing the top of this plate. Try not to breathe like directly when you're filing this stuff because it is carbon fiber. There's some like overflow of glue in here. We can make it look real nice. A little bit of work, so you know, some of you guys might want to just buy a new bottom plate. But like I said, this quad's been going strong for 14 months, so I want to keep the carbon. Like I said earlier, you can just take a uh, little circular, like three mil style file, style file, that kind of rhymed. And you just kind of twist it up in there, make your holes again. And uh, pretty strong, not delaminated anymore. I mean, I'll say this one's probably a little more flexible than a new one, because like I said, it's old and it's seen a lot of crashes, but you can see it's not delaminated anymore and it looks it looks decent. So we put our bolts back in, put our top plate back on, and we're good to go. See, it doesn't look amazing but it looks a lot better than it did when it was all freaking frayed out earlier in the video I talked about how to know when to replace something or how to know when to fix it um, and also we'll talk about delaminating arms internally and them ultimately being needed to be retired um, and how you can tell that and we'll talk about you know how you can test that and make sure your arms are still solid because at the end of the day we want these things to be as stiff as possible uh, we don't want them flexing. Flex adds more stress on the flight controller and can lead to vibrations in the video and all of that. So let's go ahead and talk about carbon fiber and when to replace things and when to fix things. So first of all, as far as replacing things, if it's broken, you're going to want to replace it. And it, when I say broken, like the arm or the bottom plate or something is physically snapped and it is in a single location that is just broken off. Um, and the reason I say to replace it is because originally carbon's under tension and it's all woven together like this, right? So it's very strong. Now, if you snap it in one place, then you're gonna have this one shear point, which is always going to break no matter how much glue you use and how much tension you put it under. It's never going to be able to be interlaced again because you've broken those weaves of carbon. So that's when you need to replace it. If you break something or you know you break a couple layers of something, you may try to fix it, but you should probably just go ahead and replace that part, whether it be an arm or a plate of some sort. Now, obviously if it's not structural, like maybe you broke a K plate, you can probably fix that, but if it's a structural thing like an arm or you know a bottom or top plate, you're gonna wanna repair it or replace that. And as far as fixing stuff, ends of arms, ends of bottom plates, top plates, um, something that's not gonna be super structural, totally fix it, you know, fill it with CA, make it look pretty, make it look good again, and you know, try not to get as many carbon splinters um, from like something like this. Like you're gonna get a lot of carbon splinters changing props with that there versus something that I fixed with some CA and some graphite. So now the next thing would be, I talked about this quad being about 14 months old and it has all the original carbon. So, you know, I said original arms, original bottom plate, original top plate, all of that stuff's 14 so months old and I've been flying this quad pretty regularly. This is my main quad. Like I fly this thing all the time. Every time I go out and fly, this is my main quad. Unless something is, 
you know, physically wrong with this quad. Like maybe I break standoffs and I don't have them in the field, then I'm flying this quad rather than the backup, which I have a backup that I've had for months now and I have not flown it because this is my main quad and I always want to fix it when I come home if something's wrong with it. So um, yeah, all original carbon. And I can tell you right now that the carbon is good. It's in good condition other than the physical, uh, you know, aesthetic properties like you know this arm right here that I haven't fixed yet but you know the arms are in pretty good condition especially now that I've fixed them um, and I've done this fix multiple times like these arms are not always this good uh, they are you know delaminated pretty often because I you know crash a lot I've been flying a lot really hard recently especially over concrete because it's been so rainy and muddy here in Atlanta we just fly over concrete so we don't get some water on our stuff um, but yeah this quad how I can tell the carbon is good basically you're going to take the carbon and you're going to try to twist it now, if you take an arm with the motor on it, you got some leverage and you can twist it more than about five degrees, then that's gonna tell you that there's some delamination going on internally and the resin and the carbon fiber strands and weave have you know, come apart and quote unquote delaminated, making that arm a little bit more flimsy. And why you wanna change that would be your flight controller is now seeing something that is flimsier. Um, you know, these are very stiff. You wanna make sure everything is stiff and consistent, where if you have an arm that is delaminated internally, you might not be able to tell because the arm doesn't flex this way, but you will be able to tell very easily if the arm is uh, able to be twisted like this laterally. Uh, this thing, you know, 14 months old, same carbon, it's an Impulse RC Alien. That's why I love them, man. The carbon's amazing. The frame's amazing. It's amazing to build. It just works. This is why I fly it. People say I fly outdated gear. Well, if I fly outdated gear, why don't you get some new gear and fly it well or something? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> outdated gear, you know, I'll continue to fly this outdated gear if it makes me fly the way that I, uh, that I can. So, you know, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to Go ahead and try this, fix it, put some CA and some graphite on there, or just CA, you don't even need the graphite, graphite's just a filler. Um, you can, try it, put it in the comment section below, let me know how it works for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. We'll